Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Studio 44. So glad to have you with me here in April of 2024. We are fresh into the new version of MLB The Show 24, and that's basically what this channel does. We showcase stadiums that you created. We showcase stadiums that I found in the vault, or we showcase stadiums that I created myself. The vault can be kind of treacherous sometimes to skim through, and I've seen other YouTubers showcase other people's stadiums and I've been obsessed with baseball stadiums my whole life so I decided to get in on the game and show you some stadiums when I find them and when some people submit them to me and I've had a lot of fun with it over the past year or so I've been doing it so I'm happy to have you with me we have a bunch of stadiums today from familiar faces we have stadiums from a new user or two and I have a stadium that I created with Al Pickles he offered up two stadiums for the Tinker Challenge where you upload a stadium to the vault and say, hey, Phil, I didn't spend much time in the stadium or I'm not completely happy with it. Can someone else tinker with it and make it better or different? I hate to say better because both stadiums that Al contributed to this were good. I've offered up a stadium myself, New Orleans Demons Park. Murph and Sandman Dan helped make it better in their own ways. And I took a crack at Al Pickle Stadium, St. Clair Park, recently, and I wanted to show it to you, see what you guys think, and see what Al thinks of it, because, you know, it's his stadium. He gave me a great foundation to work with, so I can't wait to show it to you. So why am I waiting? Let's get into showcasing some stadiums. Wiggy Wan is a fairly new creator to Studio 44. I've shown, like, three of his stadiums in the past. He gives us Pro Providence Park in Anaheim, California, altitude of 157 feet, built in 2024. I think he's one of those people who said he's not going to get the new version of the game. So he built this in 23, and, of course, it's in the 24 vault. And one thing I noticed, I mentioned it in Sewell's premiere of his last Stadiums That Inspire video. If you upload a stadium from this version of the game, it's still in 23. So I think that's kind of cool. Obviously, the standing room props and any other new prop, like your flashy canoes or your regular canoes, they won't show up, which is very sad because we all need flashy canoes. But, yeah, Wiggy Wan has some very unique tastes and he shows it off here. I love using this as kind of like the Hall of Fame building out here in right field. I always liked this building. I used it as the Moonshot Casino at one point. And I think it I think it's just a cool shaped building. I like it, you know, the straight windows and the curves and I think it I think it fits in baseball stadium really well. He's got the Anaheim Angels batter's eye in the background with the big radio tower blended in to the big A. And you got the Hit It Here Cafe and the Rundown sign mixed in. Excellent. You got some solar panels in front of a creek and a waterfall and a pond or a pond. Pond, right? It's more of a pond. Ooh, and you got people hanging out up on top of the water fountain. That's cool. Now how did he how did he do that? Is that a bleacher section or something? Why can't I select on it? There we go. Oh, okay. Duh. It's the part that curves around. Excellent idea, Wiggy Wan. And he's got a little tower in here, a little radio signal thingy. Loads of, loads of stands out here in left field. Very, very nice. They curl around to the first baseline. You got a fun little section over here. Now I'm wondering if you can hear my dog clickety-clacking in around but in the background. You got a little camera well above the dugout. Look at this. The dugout's got their own little bar. Eh. Babe Ruth would like that, right? <laughs> Babe Ruth would be getting hammered and going up and playing ball. Or David Wells and David Cohn, right? They always talk about how they... Whoa, what do you got here? Oh, your, yep, your stadium fell victim. Ah, What does it say? I want to know what it says. We can play Wheel of Fortune. Why do they disappear and come back? What the heck is happening? Can I pick them and bring them out? Nope. Look at this. What is happening? Is this some glitch that you figured out, or is this just because the game isn't working properly? You guys are seeing this, right? <laughs> they're gone, and they're back. 
I'll take an E, please. Casino, maybe? What's the name of the stadium? No, nope, that wouldn't fit. Casino something? S, that could be N and O. Then I don't know what over here. I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you want. I don't know why that's glitching out on you. You got the rally monkey over here. He's cool. Kind of built into the wall. Another funky camera well behind the dugout. Both home and away dugouts. Hey, it's only fair, right? Both get their drinks. Then you got the little construction trailer where all the offices would be. I dig it. Wiggy Wan, he's got a style. I mean, ugh. I don't know how to describe it. It's just very unique, very different. Checking out the stadium at night. Dig the big wall out here in right field. Very quirky dimensions. You know, I like that. You got a little restaurant out here in right field. Super fun, Wiggy Wan. Super fun. You know you're going to see some crazy stuff with your stadiums. Good in a cra uh, Crazy in a good way. All right. Fantastic. Great way to start the video. And we're moving on. From fairly new to brand spanking new to Studio 44, we have Texas AGS75, who gives us MLB24 Breckenridge Park. It's in San Antonio, Texas, altitude of 827 feet, built in 2024. And I get a polo grounds, old school vibe to this place. I remember looking through this a little bit the first time and just loving it. Got a very uh, Archmage feel to it with the old school vibes. Using the anomaly to kind of face off the deck or the concourse above the seating and the field level is outstanding. A, un a unique way to show off the signs with this um, the road sign thingy. Super awesome. And then he's got like a custom roof all the way around the thing. Mixed in with lights and ridges and buildings and all kinds of fun stuff. And then in the outfield, he's using that new prop. I mean, I guess I should have included this to the canoe prop, right? This one's actually pretty cool, this deck or dock, this multi-leveled. But, I mean, it's kind of hard to blend in with you got this big giant lighthouse though thing though, right? But Texas um, AGS pulled it off pretty well. I like the city in the background, surrounded by parking lots, and then you got the bridge over here. Excellent. Yeah, the pillars make it look nice. They need pillars. They need their pillars as their own prop. I think pillars can really fancy up a building. Let's take a look behind home plate. I don't know if it's like super, super old vibe or maybe like a minor league vibe. But either way, I dig it. He's got concessions running throughout the whole thing. And then what really caught my attention was behind home plate, this little courtyard back here. Excellent. It's all fenced in and got its little roof and lined with trees. And you got the ramp to get up to the different levels. You got a little Hall of Fame circle in here, a concession stand, like a little entry, you know, where you come in and maybe give your ticket right there. And, of course, you got the fair right out in the middle of the water. Excellent. Is this new? I was looking at this, and I don't remember this thing being that big. Is this a new one that I haven't noticed? Oh, no, this is this is the famous Costco building, isn't it? Ugh. That stupid Costco park. But look at this. From back here, this looks amazing. Super quirky dimensions. Everything looks all like orange and reddish. Or copper almost, maybe. Super cool. Texas AGS. Welcome to Studio 44. I feel like I say the same things every time. Every time I look at this, look at how it's faced off out here using this fence and the big long walkway. Excellent. 
It's almost like this is like a state fairgrounds and this is the park they play in. Or like the Little League World Series or something. Cool vibe to this place. I dig the stadium a lot. Man, it's got to be tough being a left or right fielder in this park. Very interesting. I definitely want to play some RDL Legends games in here. Super fun. He's got ships all over the place and boats and... Fantastic. Texas AGS 7575. Thank you so much for submitting the stadium. I can't wait to see what else you have for us. Maybe I'll have to look through your page a little bit. It's getting harder and harder to do that. I used to do that a lot when I would get a new creator. You know, I'd go through and look at their stadiums, but now I have so many, and I'm so grateful for that. But it makes it hard to, you know, take the time to just go in and look around and see what you guys have in your vaults. All right, thank you so much for the stadium. Let's move on to another new creator in Studio 44. Back-to-back -back stadiums from brand new creators in Studio 44 and back-to-back -back stadiums with, like, great atmospheres to them. This is Red Leg Plumbing Complex. It's in Aspen, Colorado, right? That's where Aspen is. Altitude of 5,190 feet, so almost maxed out. Built in 2024, and this stadium comes to us from S. Soden. And again, this has a great vibe to it. Look at look at this place when you back up. Almost looks like something out of like a fairy tale or something. You got this big long train that heads back to this castle in front of this giant mountain. You got all these hot air balloons and this water in the background. Cool little island with the lighthouse on it. Tugboats and steamboats and sailboats and helicopters on top of roofs. Awesome. Red Lake Plumbing, is that your business or something, where you work? You own the business? Lots of trees and different colors, and it's just a phenomenal atmosphere in here. This little corner is a lot of fun. People hanging out by the boats and the cars and helicopters, and I guess there's no boats in there, are there? <laughs> oh, cool, the escalator's going up to behind the... What are these buildings? Have we ever determined what these are? What are these buildings, do we think, that are on top of all these stands? Guys mode. I love stadiums like this. When they take the time to make this beautiful scenery and all this, you know, greenery with trees and bushes and ponds and stuff all over the place, you know, they look so good. It's unique. It's different, you know? Got the people standing out, standing down here, hanging out in front of the screen fence. Awesome. Got some shaded areas for some picnic tables. Then over here, what do you got in this hole? Oh, okay, a little fountain back here. That's cool. Red Lang Plumbing Complex. That's Soden. Soden, Soden? Freaking gorgeous. And you got a parking lot back here. Train tracks that go all the way across the span of the circle that they give you the little river or lake or whatever, you know, faced off with these mountains or hills. Excellent. Oh, and he's got the castle lit up. I don't think we've seen it in the dark, have we? Excellent. It'd be nice if there was some animation, to, like the balloons and stuff, you know? See him move around. See him, like, circle the stadium or something. Fun little entry to the stadium. Got the little pirate ship back here. Looks great. Super fun. Oh, I didn't even see this concession stand built into the seats here. That's cool. And then you got the bathrooms. These people are lined up getting a hot dog or a burger. Excellent. Nice work, I sodden. I like it. Soden, sodden. I don't know why I don't give up. I should. Just give up trying to pronounce names until <laughs> I know for sure. Another stadium creator that I can't wait to see more from. Red Leg Plumbing. All right. 
As always, I take the time to welcome you to the Studio 44 community. I hope. I really. Oh, look, you got people hanging out on the ship, too. I noticed that. I really hope to see more from you soon. Again, I'll try to get into your vault myself as well. Thank you so much, S. Soden, Soden, Soden. Fellas, we have another new creator to Studio 44 to showcase a stadium from. ADM Park 79. It's in Amsterdam. Altitude of 100 feet, built in 1979, and this comes to us from NJA 1979. And N Jonkers, that's his uh, YouTube name. Is N, jo N Jonkers? I love. I remember seeing this building. I love having these three levels of curved, like it looks like a like a almost like a parking garage or a ramp where you'd be hanging out in there. I think it's a cool look, and you got this um, luxury seating hanging off it. You got people hanging off or hanging out up on top here. Super fun. I hope these guys are all really careful. <laughs> no railings. Come on, and Jonkers, have you no concern for artificial life? <laughs> Look at how like this whole custom building is really cool. What is? Oh, you got a bunch of little blocks blended into each other. Yeah, and then it's kind of like built into this roof that curls around. Super fun. And you got trees over here. Oh, what's going on back here? More people hanging out. All right. You got this, uh, you got the guitar scoreboard over here. People hanging out on top of the scoreboard. Fantastic. Those guys are a little safer. They got the rope or whatever you want to call this. Kind of keeping them on. You got, maybe this stadium's not finished yet. Bunch of construction going on behind the batter's eye over here. Using the round, that roundish building. People hanging out on the balconies here. And Jonkers, ADM Park. All right. Gives me a Wiggy Wand vi vibe. Very unique, very creative ideas. Oh, there's a tennis court up here. Or is it Pickleball? Pickleball's taking over the world, right? These guys are hanging out at the gymnasium. Luxury seating underneath the gymnasium. Super cool. Super funky. I dig it. I'm on board. You got this little plaza back here. An escalator leading up to this funky building. And Jonkers, 79. I love it. Were you born in 79? I myself was born in 1979. March of 1979. People are hanging out behind home plate there. Got a little skyline back here. Super fun. I like this one a lot. This this weird building over here is so fun. Like how this the roof kind of connects to each other and it looks really smooth and clean. Very nice. Very very unique. And then, of course, don't hit it here. It's a foul ball. Yeah, you want to hit it over here. Can you reach this? 320. Yeah, you might be able to. I don't know about y'all, but playing this game in home run derbies, I have a couple Ricky Davis League guys made. So testing out the stadiums I have created in this version of the game. The ball freaking flies in home run derby in this version of the game. I'm talking flies out of here. So that that kind of makes it fun, but I haven't I haven't played a game yet. I hope it doesn't translate over to the game. I don't want to hit too many home runs. That's quite kind of creative to have the ADM part curl around. That I can't get over how cool this looks. I mean, it's such a simple idea, but it looks really cool. This whole custom building is fantastic. And Jonkers or NJA nineteen seventy nine. I love it, buddy. Thanks for contributing the stadium. Did I turn the lights on yet? Let's do that. Pretty simple grass pattern. 
taking full advantage of the standing room people. Got them hanging out all over the place. I love it. All right. Thank you for the stadium. You guys know I like my curl or curl arounds. I always think that looks really good. And jonkers. <laughs> Fantastic. So unique. So different. Oh, this laser ribbon goes all the way back. Fantastic. You keep finding new weird little things here and there. I like it. Oh, look at this. This is a cool idea. Having windows and your camera well down here. People are hanging out. ADM. You have to let me know what ADM stands for. Oh, Amsterdam Maps. There you go. All right. And Jonkers, thanks again. NJ, NJA, 1979. Beautiful. We have another cool atmosphere stadium to show you. This one comes to us from a familiar face, though. MTA Bus Driver gives us Dead Ed Grounds in Troy, New York. Altitude of 5,233 feet, built in 1923. And this is kind of MTA Bus Driver specialty. These little villages with stands on them. Lined up in different spots, jammed into corners. Look at this. This is super cool looking. Outstanding. Oh, he's got these little mini bleacher sections that are kind of held in by these signs. I like it. Great idea. Street lights and stuff. Little villages. I mean, the, the road's right there. That's awesome. Yeah, this definitely gives you this, the vibe of like a really, really old stadium from like the late 1800s, even in the 1900s when cars first started showing up. He's got a custom roof using this. Oh, okay, using the one building. And then what are these guys? Why can't I grab a hold of those? No, not that part. Why can't? Oh, I, they're a concession stand. Oh, no, they're, the, they're a trolley. Okay, look at that. Very creative to use that as kind of the facing as that up roof. Very Yankee Stadium-esque. And then a brilliant idea using that one building as the pillars. Because you know the old school buildings are going to have to have pillars to keep them up. Fantastic. Look at all these seats jammed in here. Super cool. Only 270 down that line. That's going to be fun. Oh, I'm playing some RDL Legends games here, too. Oh, I love this little weird nook and cranny over here with the quirky dimensions. MDA bus driver. He MTA bus driver. He has some fun stuff. Look at this. You got a little walkway connecting these two buildings. You can drive underneath. Meow. Makes all these custom buildings. Check this out. All these people built in. So this building back here, that's taken Wrigley Field concept to a whole new level. Holy crap. From so far away. What is this, Power Alley? So much detail. See, this is one thing I'm trying to get better at is to, to jam more stuff in. I, I tend to have like like all left field is the same and all right field is the same. This is, these these are so fun. So many weird little places you can hit home runs into. You got the sausage stand built into this building and the cold drinks concession stand. MTA bus driver. His stuff is always so unique. Again, great atmosphere stadiums in this video, huh? And this is going to frustrate me because it's not going to let me save it with whatever this is blinking red. I don't know why it would be blinking red. But if I go to save the stadium, it'll delete it. MTA bus driver, there he is. And you got signs on the roofs and all these custom buildings stacked on top of each other. Troy, New York. I don't think, have I been to Troy? I don't think Troy's too far from me. Sure sounds familiar. Is there like a community college there or something? Dead End Grounds. I did play-by-play -play for my community college, Finger Lakes Community College. And I remember doing play-by-play -play for basketball games. It was pretty fun. 
concession stand signs built right into these buildings. But anyway, back to the play-by-play -play thing. I wonder if it feels like I remember playing Troy, but I could be very, very wrong. Another building connected back here. Another couple buildings connected. So fun. MTA bus driver. I love this freaking field, man. This is my favorite of year so far. Everything's so jammed in. It looks so chaotic and fun at the same time. I like this custom scoreboard in center field. The dead ed grounds. Excellent. Let's turn the lights on. Surrounded by old school lights, too. Fantastic. All right, MTA bus driver. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. This one's great. Using this building to face it off. Excellent. It's a very good idea to get creative with some of these little buildings, stack them on top of each other. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of memory, but it's um, cool that you can get creative and give yourself different textures, you know, or different appearances for facing off some of these stadiums. It could, it could be used as a wall, too. It kind of gives me the idea to use it as, like, a wall. Build them up next to each other and use it as a wall to kind of enclose the stadium. All right, what do we got down here? Oh, these this, like, doubles as, like, an entrance. Is this that one circular? Yep. The base of that circular tower building thingy. All right. Well, again, MTA bus driver. Thanks a lot for the stadium, man. This is another gentleman who says he's not – he doesn't have the – new version of the game yet is that because you're not happy with the new offerings or just haven't got around to it yet but this is from the show 23 all right thanks again let's move on next up we have a creator who is whooping sewell 21 and myself in the 23 stadium creator contest i knew <laughs> i was in trouble when i was paired up with sewell and dan but last i checked dan had 50 percent of the votes from the three of us and um Sewell and I were splitting the other 50 percent so that's that's a race we can pretty much call congratulations to Dan moving on to the finals with Riverside Stadium this stadium though is the Nassau Coliseum in Long Island altitude of 2,500 feet built in 2024 and he's using the Lazy River facing which you know I love to create these different levels back here. Outstanding. This has never been my favorite batter's eye, but it works here. You know, it kind of blends in. And then he used the anomaly back here to kind of face it off. That looks better. Excellent idea. Then you got some nooks and crannies under here where people are hanging out. You got some signs going on. Luxury seating across the back. A custom booth up here. Dan always has good stuff, which is, like I said, why I was scared to be paired with him. But the Red Wings helmet doesn't lie. You got to respect what comes out of the Red Wings helmet. Anomaly out here. This area looks really, really nice. With the two anomalies surrounding the scoreboard, fantastic. And then people are hanging out in here. I could so see that in a real park. And then people are hanging out in the concourse with some trees. Excellent. And then I like this concourse behind the batter's eye as well. You got the grill back here with a nice uh, with an ice cream kiosk, right? Isn't that what that is? Oh, snacks. I'm sorry. And then, oh, here's the ice cream one. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Do you guys do uh, Cold Stone Creamery? It's like my favorite place in the world. If you've, if, you, if you've never been to a Cold Stone Creamery, do yourself a favor, find one, get yourself cookie dough ice cream with cookie dough pieces in it, little chocolate sauce. You'll be in heaven. Fat guy porn, as I like to call it, because I'm a, I'm a fat guy myself. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. These little steps that lead up behind. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful stadium from Dan. Sandman Dan. 
He's going to be moving on to the finals. Faced off. Oh, look at this. He's got, like, different layers of this building kind of stacked on top of each other. Excellent. Very enclosed. And he lights up these gloves back here. Oh, the LI. Okay. The LI for Long Island, I'm guessing. Oh, he put a entrance to this building and he always does good jobs with these planters or these little medians with trees and grass in them dan's good dan is good i'm not a, i'm not ashamed to lose to dan <laughs> or sewell you know i can i can easily accept losing to those guys i'm not losing to a bunch of bums i'm losing to some great creators which i can definitely live with so yeah congratulations dan for I can, like I said, I can probably officially call that you have won that semifinal round. So we'll see who you are up with very shortly. We're going to go Friday the 12th, right? We're going to try to get these po videos posted by then. And then Friday the 12th is your last day to vote. So Saturday I can record the finals video and post that up for vote either Sunday or Monday. So thank you, Dan, for another fantastic stadium. Always happy to showcase your stadiums, buddy. We're going to move on now to another familiar face. Carmen's dad gave me clearance to check out his entire vault, but he mentioned this one in a recent post. Bridgewater Stadium in Omaha, Nebraska, altitude of 1,500 feet, well, closer to 1,600 feet, built in 2023. So I decided to show this one next, Bridgewater Stadium. And man, oh man, is it fantastic. You got a bullseye out here. Oh, look at that. There's a bull hanging. Freaking awesome. <laughs> I love it, Carmen's dad. Outstanding. You got this little pond out here, too. Fantastic. 64, 68, 92, 96, 2001, 2014. Hmm. You got retired numbers. You got the bull ring. Outstanding. You got a dude hanging out here in front. People are checking out his statue. People are hanging out in front of these benches. This little concourse is amazing. The circular with the stairs in the right-hand corner. Oh, outstanding. And then people are able to watch the game from here. Beautiful. This building built right in with stands hanging out amazing where do you guys come up with these ideas this is the one building right yeah it's never been my favorite building but when you build the blend all this stuff into it it makes it look completely different and works out so much better got all the canopies or the roofs outstanding I love the bridge. You know I love the bridge. I used it in my own stadium. I built it right into the stadium. You got some Omaha steaks out here. Oh, I could go for a good steak. I'm supposed to go to Texas Longhorn tomorrow night for my mother-in-law's birthday. This whole concourse is fantastic. You got another bull hanging out in here. Hee <laughs> hee. I love it. Outstanding. Carmen's dad has some great, great stadiums. A little bit of a different facing outside of the park. Looks amazing. Would expect nothing less from this guy. Carmen's dad is something else. Got the home run concourse thingy, the home run... What do you call this thing? I, you'd think I'd have it down by now. What is this called? It's part of something, so i got to break it up. Home run deck. That's what I thought I've called it in the past, and it wasn't that. Ugh. Excellent. Oh, I like these two little bushes hanging out here in front of this door. Yeah, he uses this building as a door a lot. That's smart. It looks good. Fantastic work, Carmen's dad. As always. Did I turn the lights on yet? Man, it takes a long time for the lights to turn on in this game. Very, very nice. A 
Oh, I like how he's got the major league kind of blended into the dugout. That looks nice. Cool stuff. Got luxury seats hanging out under here. Very, very nice. All right. Excellent work, Carmen's dad. Once again, thanks for joining the community. The Studio 44 community, that is. People are lined up for this concession. People hanging out on the roof over here. Outstanding. Excellent work. Thank you so much, Carmen's dad. Okay. So for those of you who have tried Respect the Pick, you know that it's a pretty nerdy show. We talk about Star Wars and Game of Thrones and video games and all sorts of other stuff. So you give me a stadium from Murph 075 that's Star Wars themed, and I'm in frickin' heaven. We have Bespin Field. It's in Cloud City. Altitude of 5,279 feet, built in 1980. Look at this frickin' thing. Murph is crazy. <laughs> Empire Strikes Back, baby. Got the little scoreboard with the anomaly in the background. And then over here, look at all these places. You got Yoda's Paradise Dining. Does Yoda own this place, I wonder? A pretty good Yoda impression, I do. You got Bespin Field scoreboard over here. Home of the Cloud City Nerf Herders. <laughs> look at this. Look at the Millennium Falcon out here. Fucking awesome. He's got a, a truck blended in to kind of create the cockpit. So good. Oh, my goodness. Boba's Carbonite Cafe and Labatt's Brouts. Is that, is he, he's got to be another bounty hunter, right? Like one of the guys, and his funky, nasty feet are out in that spot right before they chase him down. Lando's Lounge over here, and you got Cloud City, Scoundrel's Hideout. <laughs> Leave it to Murph, man. Oh, my goodness. Bosk's cold beer. And I know he's a bounty hunter. Jawa Juice and Denger's Barbecue. Hoth Ice Cream. Yeah, that would make sense. Minoc Burgers. <laughs> I have a joke about Minoc Minoc's in uh, an episode of Respect the Pick. One of my shorts. I think I highlighted it in one of my videos. I was just thinking the other day watching Star Wars, Han and Luke are escorting Chewbacca to the detention center to pretend he's a prisoner. I can't see in this thing. Right. Yeah, that whole scene. They're, like, walking on this, like, level that would be in a mall. Yep. Do you think that's where the Sbarros is? There's got to be a Sbarros <laughs> on the Death Star, right? I feel like there's lots of things on the Death Star, right? Like Sbarros. Bathroom. Yeah, it's the size of the moon. An Asian restaurant <laughs> where you can get, like, two meats and... Rice or right, right, uh, right, right, right. Romaine. I mean, and, and if they have it there, they have to have it on Star's Killer Base. Isn't that Kylo Ren's first job? Probably, yeah. Do you want your pie cut in triangles or squares? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there's some Minarchs that flew in when the door was open and they're stuck in there forever. <laughs> yep. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Minarchs. <laughs> Echo Base, huh, buddy? Can you read me? Wampa's Den, Tauntaun Pen. <laughs> and you got some guys subbing in, filling in for Tauntauns. <laughs> you got rovers hanging out down here. Fantastic. Oh, look at the. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Murph is an awesome, 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 awesome creator. This looks more like Hoth than Bespin, though. Although this does look like the Cloud City, kind of. Luke's hanging out down here, right? This is where he's watched his hand go fly by. <laughs> Fantastic. Murph is awesome. There's people hanging out on the deck. And Yoda's deck. Mm. All right. The lights on. Looks fantastic. Not a whole lot going outside the stadium. Awesome, awesome work, Murph. You the man. 
Millennium Falcon Cantina. Awesome. All right, Murph. Thanks a lot. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. It's freaking amazing. It's so fun. I've seen... I saw one before that looked like it was like in Hoth. Like it was in like all these rocks and it looked like the entrance to Hoth or even uh, Crate. What can I say? The stadium is fantastic. I'm in nerd heaven. A baseball stadium that's Star Wars themed. Awesome work, Murph. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> so glad you told me about this one. I knew I had to get it in as soon as you told me about it. So, All right, moving on to one more stadium. The last stadium we're going to get to before we get to the Tinker Challenge Stadium is Mid-City Park. It's in Anywhere USA, max altitude, built in 1996, and it comes to us from our good buddy Bo Tiger. I can't remember where he stands in the contest. I don't. I can't remember if he's winning or not. I, I think it's a close race with him, but this stadium's pretty fun. He's got this cool little park area right behind this bleacher section where you got people chilling out at picnic tables and you got a playground back here looks really really nice and i always like good ways of using this one building again pillars pillars make a building i don't know something about pillars that make a building look like fancier <laughs> i'm so leaving this in the video but i definitely just heard my dog fart in the other room <laughs> Now, he told me he did this. Look at this. You see this a lot, especially in minor league parks, dialing up the foul poles. He's got Bo Tiger written right into the foul pole. That's fantastic. You got the Buffalo Trace building out here. Oh, look at the steps. I'm so jealous of steps. I can never, ever, ever make good steps. And he's got two sets of them. Fantastic. Using the Angels... Of all the sounds that <laughs> may have been picked up on my microphone for these past two videos, I sure hope that <laughs> Charlie Sherman fart was one of them. <laughs> oh, look at this little double-layered deck out here. Uh-oh, looks like he fell victim of disappearing props. These guys are kind of standing on nothing. Come on, SDS, let's get it together, huh? But look at this. This looks fantastic. They got their own little concession stand in here. Great set of steps. This area out front, too. Beautiful. Beautiful work, Bo Tiger. Another awesome concourse down the left field line. With the scoreboard built right into the wall. Two scoreboards. Another cool bridge kind of connecting these two. Stands together. Another double decker. Seen a lot more of this. Mid City Park. Fantastic. The zone. Like the auto zone? Get in the zone. Auto zone. Customize the scoreboard. I dig that. Stadium is well lit, looking beautiful at night. Bo Tiger, one of my favorite Red Sox fans. Brew hoo hoo. Coffee, tea, or milk. People hanging out there. Got the parking garage. Double building over here. Looks amazing. Excellent, excellent work. Another masterpiece from Bo Tiger. And he's got the luxury seats right up against the line again. And they're sucked up right up to get backstop, too. That's fun. A bunch of guys hanging out up here. Nicely done, Bo Tiger. I turn the lights on, right? Yeah. All right. That is it from Stadium Request. The next stadium is 
from Al Pickles and myself. He gave us St. Clair Park as part of the Tinker Challenge. And let's see if you like the tinkers I made with it. Tinkers, tinkers I made with it? Tinkering I did do it? I don't know. Okay, so here is St. Clair Park. It's in City AAA, max altitude, built in 2024. And again, it's a great little stadium already on its own. I love what he did in right field with the windows covering this bleacher section underneath the plaza level seating or upper deck seating, I guess it is. But he's got this cool little building over here with people chilling out on the bleachers. Awesome little park in the corner. And then in left field, he's got the anomaly underneath the plaza level seating and a little scoreboard for guys to check out highlights and whatever's going on on the big screen that maybe they can't see from their seats. Super, super cool. He's got a parking lot in the corner. I was a little bit worried about that, so that's definitely one thing I changed. Playing baseball a lot, you know, with the foul balls where they end up going. There's going to be a lot of smash windows over there. I liked how he used the anomaly to kind of curve around in center field as your main batter's eye backdrop. It kind of curls around all the way back into the stadium or underneath the stands. Then he's got a parking garage in the back, a couple buildings. Very, very, very nice little stadium, right? Well, he offered this one and West Side Stadium or West Side Park as foundations for tinkering with. So here's what I did with it. Okay, so here's the St. Clair Park Remix Stadium. Kept the city, kept the location, changed the altitude, built in 2024. And right off the bat, you can see in center field, I added these fountains to face off the hills. And then I closed off the center portion in the hills because, I mean, you're not going to want people there, right? And I put some people on this little balcony or, I don't know, deck, concourse, right in the middle of the hill. And then I kind of closed it off with the other side of the steakhouse. I discovered this. I can't remember whose it was. I want to say it was Bo Tiger's Stadium. Maybe it was Murph's. But I saw the other side of it. You can almost see the spot where I notice it. And, like, I stopped talking. And, like, this could be, like, a good facing for the inside of a stadium. <laughs> but I got the bigger scoreboard out here. And I put some people hanging out on top of the roof right here. And then over here, I put a little luxury seating box, surrounded the hill with this deck or concourse, whatever you want to call it, people hanging out up here. Um, I didn't do, oh, I surrounded the center field with water, too. I put the water where the fountain could go into, so there's little ponds in here. And then in right field, I didn't change too much, because like I said, I love this bleacher section that's covered up. But I added the show sign. I put the roof on top. And then I added, I spun this around and added people to the balcony. So people are standing up here watching the game, the balconies of each layer of steps. And then as far as the bleachers, I just lowered the fence down a little bit so they're not looking through the chain link fence. I kept the park pretty much the same, although I did add this building. Um, I didn't do much around or behind, although I did add this section of luxury boxes right here and over on the other side, but I didn't do much around or behind home plate. I took out the parking lot and added another big building. <laughs> he had another fan tower over here, so I added more fans, spun it around, added more fans in the balcony. And then over here, I, I'm really happy with, with the way this turned out. He had the anomaly underneath, and I just covered it up with this brick concourse put the deck on top, added some people hanging out, added this prop as the background to that deck, and then put another thinner layered deck on top of that where you got people standing up at these little tables. Again, I used the picnic benches as a fence. I think it looks pretty good as a fence, but they're right in front of the plaza level seating or upper deck level seating that he had there. And then I added the roof, added a couple buildings in the back just to hide some stuff. Namely, I think the water, mainly. And then behind the stadium, I just faced it off with that old school building. It, it kind of had an old school feeling to me, so 
I use that old school looking building to face off the outside of it. And that's about it. But both versions, I think, are pretty cool. I was pretty happy how this turned out. I spent a couple hours on it last night. <laughs> I was up to like 4 o'clock in the morning. I guess that happens when you don't have to work the next day, huh? But I was really happy with how the fountains turned out. I think the fountains look really cool. So, yeah, that's what I came up with. We'll, we'll turn the lights on real quick. But, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I did change the pattern, I think, uh, the dirt pattern. I like this. This is probably my favorite combination. There's definitely dirt colors I look better, but I hate how they're cut. This one has a better combination of the cut and the color, so that's the one I usually go with. So this is St. Clair Park Remix by Al Pickles and Peebs212344. Do you guys have an idea for St. Clair Park? Let me know in the comments, stadium name and the creator. Well, I guess just your creator name. I know the stadium name. But let me know if you want to give this one a shot. I do want to tackle West Side Stadium as well. Um, I did not have time for that one yet. Maybe I'll do that one next, but I should start editing this so I can get it up and get uh, voting finished down in that finale. Or the semi-finale, I should say. Semi-final round. That's what I want to say. <laughs> all right. So that is St. Clair Park Remix. Al Pickles, you of all people, I hope you like it the most. Because this was your baby, your your foundation, your template. And I appreciate your offering up these stadiums to tinker with. Do you guys have a stadium you want to tinker with, with? Again, leave the name of that stadium, your gamer tag. Please leave the gamer tag with it. The gamer tag is so important to let me know what stadium you want to be tinkered with. And we'll get it out there for people to see. If you have a stadium you want showcased that it has nothing to do with the Tinker Challenge or the Stadium of the Year contest, again, stadium name, gamer tag in the comments below and I will get to it as soon as possible. I'm hoping to get this posted by Friday. Again, Friday the 12th. So it's official that that is the last day for voting. So if you need to vote, go to my YouTube channel. Look for the community section. And right there, you can scroll down. You can find all the polls and vote. Like I said, there are some very, very, very close races so we want them set in stone by friday so i can record the video saturday or sunday and post the final video or the final round video monday or tuesday next week that's all i have so please if you like this video hit that like button ring the bell leave a comment and more importantly, please subscribe to the channel. I'm so close to my goal. I'm about 150 away from my first goal of subscribers. So it would really mean a lot to me if you like these videos and you hit subscribe and you join the community. Give me a stadium. You know, Leave a comment. Tell me which ones you like. Tell me which ones you didn't like. Tell me how I can make the channel better. I'm trying to do more than just showcase you know, stadiums with the different challenges and uh, the different contests and stuff like that. So, um, you know, uh, collabing with Sewell 21 has been a lot of fun. So let me know what I can do differently, what, what you do like, what you don't like, and whatever I can do to, you know, make it more fun for everybody I'm, I'm willing, I'm open to. So one last thing before I let you go, don't forget to check out Respect the Pick, the podcast with my nephew and my brother. A lot of nerd conversations, a lot of fun stuff. We laugh at each other with each other. It's more of a radio show, I keep saying that, than a podcast. Um, I hope with all this time off that I'm going to get some uh, highlights put together so I can show you guys a little bit more what it's about without having you yeah, listening to an hour-long video. You know, Maybe some of these highlights will say, hey, you know what, they could be pretty fun. But I think you know what the idea of a highlight reel is. But <laughs> All right, that's it. I've babbled on enough. Thank you again for watching, and we'll catch you soon.